Freddie Barnes, 2009 elite wide receiver, Bowling Green. Uh, Dave Clausen, head football coach, Bowling Green State University. Well, it's a, it's a great honor for Freddie and, and for our entire program that uh, Freddie had an outstanding season. He uh, was a great competitor, made a lot of big plays for us, and it's great to see uh, his efforts be recognized uh, with such a prestigious award. Uh, Freddie's a, a very likable guy, very easygoing, uh, always made time for, for fans and community service. Anything we ask him to do, he, he did. Uh, with enthusiasm, and uh, again, it's great to see uh, a good young man be rewarded for everything he's done, not just on the field, but off the field as well. Well, certainly the, uh, the, the play at Kent State, and I think he had uh, you know, 22 catches that day for 278 yards, but we were down by 12 points late in the game, and uh, he took a short crossing route and uh, stiff-armed and broke about four or five tackles and put us within a score. And then we ended up winning that game, and, and that certainly was a play that, that probably changed our whole season. Oh, Freddie, uh, he likes to dance. So uh, like a lot of coaches before a game, I'm a little uptight and anxious to get the game going. And uh, anytime we were on the road, uh, Freddie would have the receivers uh, having a little dance fever going. So uh, he kept it loose, and it was probably a good personality to offset the coaching staff. Again, it's... Uh, I think exciting time at Bowling Green. Uh, just finished a, a very rewarding season with a bowl game and had a great recruiting class. And we're hoping that we'll uh, have awards like this be rolling through Bowling Green again in the near future. College Football Performance Awards. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, somebody taking recognition for the play that I've done on the field, so uh, I can appreciate that. Um, I like it since I uh, led the nation in a few uh, statistical uh, categories, so I can't complain. Uh, wow, five years, I had a lot of them. But uh, one of the main ones would just have to be uh, my last game here against Toledo. Um, I stayed outside for like an hour almost, uh, freezing cold, like signing autographs for the fans. and. Uh, different people in my family, so uh, that was a great experience for me. Uh, the most memorable catch? Wow. Uh, I would have to say the humanitarian ball, uh, just because that's the last thing on my mind. It wasn't any other catch bigger than that, so it was more than just a regular game. It was a bowl game, so that catch uh, to, to give us the lead at the end of the game really was uh, the most memorable. Um, message to the fans. Um, thanks for all the love at uh, Bowling Green. Uh, I look forward to it, uh, to it continuing uh, for my future in the NFL. All right, uh, one, one uh, summer, it might have been two summers ago. We, uh, to end the summer, our uh, team always has like a midnight lift and everybody dresses up in, in different uh, costumes, basically. Uh, our strength coach tells us to come in ready for war. So like our offensive linemen, and they used to come in with with uh, really short shorts and like tight shirts and those type of things, and uh, they basically they couldn't work out in that outfit just because they were too big fitting in those small clothes. But it was like the best laugh I ever had. Man. Everywhere I go, people ask me about Freddie. Um, I remember one time I was out at dinner, and, and one guy wanted me to call Freddie uh, so we could he could so we could both autograph his forehead. Uh, I ended up having to autograph his forehead because Freddie wouldn't pick up his phone, so I, I got Freddie off the hook on that one.
College Football Performance Awards.